Windy Las Vegas, Nevada. And today we are walking to the Pearl of the Palms because we're at the New Orleans Casino as you can see behind me and it wasn't that impressive. So we're gonna go from the little discount little senior Saint National Land to the more fabulous, more entertaining Pearl of the Palms because I've seen it on TV. And this other one, nobody knows about that one. Nobody cares about it, okay? <laughs> but if you look behind me, you'll see way in the distance, way over there, there's some little buildings that are supposed to be New York City, right there. So we're gonna walk towards New York, make a left, hang a left, and talk about life for a little bit. Now, I've been coming to you from the fathoms of the internet and not giving you my best of SNL money videos because I'm using this as my personal enjoyment. You know, at this point in my life, I don't need all that noise of the trolls giving me even more crap than what I'm already getting. So when I'm getting ready to do that and I'm indoors somewhere and I have internet because that's the real reason I haven't been doing it. I don't have internet yet, guys. So I'm not like fucking running away from you guys. It's just I don't have internet right now in the home. And every time I do get internet, I, I get kicked out somewhere because nobody likes me. And you all know why that is. Because I'm such a prick, right? <laughs> that I, I put YouTube videos online and people don't like that apparently. But yeah, that is my number one job right now. And uh, oh, here's the Pearl of the Palms. I'll make a left. And uh, so yeah, like, we're doing that and we're doing blah, blah, blah. And we're doing a number of things, really. And um, some people call it doing drugs. <laughs> they say, so this other guy on the other podcast told me, oh yeah, what is he doing? Side things. I said, I'm doing side things. Yeah, that doesn't mean I'm doing favors for people. I'm doing you know, side, side things, like bad stuff. But, yeah, most definitely, I'm doing whatever I can to make money. It's called hustling. <laughs> it's called just, just, you know, getting help from your family, really, to be honest with you. And, um, so this version of the podcast, we're just walking down here, and it's for my family out there, it's for my loved ones, and anyone who's ever talked to me in my life is my loved one. I love everyone in the world, and, um, my heart goes out to a lot of you that uh, are on bad terms with me right now, and I'm sorry about that. Uh, so, <clears throat> I don't even know what's wrong with this girl, because I could go into four different subjects, which I talked about on my Jack in the Box podcast. Four different subjects, which I won't ever touch. It's my, my subject about uh, Daredevil, and I was in Hollywood there. I won't ever touch it, actually. I want to touch my Hangover 3 thing. I don't want to touch the fact that I'm in Vegas and it's a continuation of the drama. I don't want to touch on these encouraging um, stories that you might want to hear about because you have to know me, okay? You have to know me to get that privilege to know those things or stories. I mean, these are stories that uh, potentially I could be talking about for the rest of my life. And why would I want to waste it online when everyone can hear everything I can ever say? So no, you, you won't listen to me. You won't listen to me. Uh, people in my life won't listen to me. So I'm going to have to make you hear what I want you to hear and when I want you to hear it if you sit through this stupid video. So actually I made a wrong turn over here. I can't cut through the palms. It's a little bit longer. But um, so we're going around here. And we're going to watch a movie. Actually, we're not even going to watch it, probably. We're just going to check out the theater and then go back to the cheap one. But, uh, you know, it'll be later there. And by then, the Amy Schumer movie would have come down. Everything's going to be okay because Amy Schumer, and she's boss. And so, yeah, if you look over here again, I'll give you a shot. We're getting closer to New York. And um, I just wanted to say uh, I'm really depressed about okay, my love life. This is my podcast. It's okay to talk about my love life, you know, that is always on, on the table to talk about. And I'm really depressed right now about Isabel. She messages me, fucking this is super crazy, this is this girl. Messages me first day for many, many fucking months out of the blue to tell me she doesn't want to talk to me anymore. Rather, she doesn't want to hear me anymore. Because, um, you know, well, I, I sent her through, through a four mail messages over the months. And that was too much for her. Okay? Apparently she loves me. And it's too hard to hear from me. And that I get. That I think was what really going on. And I'll probably message that to her. The fact is that you love me, it's too hard to hear from me. And you you don't want to think about me anymore. And okay, I get that. But don't, don't try to, and she hasn't blocked me, but don't try to say that <laughs> we didn't have something. Because, matter of fact, I will say we didn't have something, but she can't say. And I'll tell you what she said. She said that I was harassing her. Because, because I kept 
I kept on like being her friend and like being her friend for a few months and then like saying after a few months you know I gotta tell you something you know I really like you you know that okay so so that's harassing you like no it's not that's that's not even physically harassing anyway that's being honest with the person that's like landmark middle school stuff or how I grew up on, on the fucking basketball courts you tell the girl that you like that you like them otherwise it's stupid why even talk to that person if you don't tell them that you like them so you tell them that she didn't like being told that I liked her she wanted it to be a black like, oblivious like me like uh, waiting on her hand and foot and spending money on her and, and having her be oblivious and like leading me on she wanted to lead me on okay <laughs> Mark is an expert and Mark doesn't get let on okay so that's another thing I'm gonna message her you love me it's too hard to talk to me I get that you wanted to lead me on I get that you don't get to do that to me okay cuz I've been through it before and I won't do it again all right, so that's why I tell you I like you. And then you still want to talk to me? I gotta tell you, I'll confront you again about it. I'm gonna confront you. If you're a girl in my life, I confront you about it. So you're a girl in my life that wants to be friends. And I don't believe men and women can be just friends. So anyway, it's a long, long thing and I'm dealing with that in my life. And I'm dealing with uh, pent up feelings for this new girl that I'm living with. Right? Well, I won't even deal with that. How you doing, my brother? Happy Vegas, happy Vegas. Be careful with the rolling stops, man. Not black. There's the palms. I got it right in front of me. Yay! So, uh, anyway, we're here. We're in unusually windy Las Vegas. And it is not getting windy right now. And it is a nice, beautiful time. And I wish all my buddies were here. As a matter of fact, I wish my acting buddies were here. As a matter of fact, I wish my imaginary character friends were here. I wish my friends like Barney Stinson was here, and the Ted Mosby's, and the Robin Shabatsky's, and the Marshalls and Lilies's. And I wish I was doing this. And yeah, this is pretty cool. And uh, it's pretty cool, man. It's like, look at that. Look at that crazy car. It's a taxi that says fucked up beyond all recognition. It's a foobar on it. I don't know why, why would that be a name of a, a thing. <laughs> foobar. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to the Palms. Boom! And we're going there, and I don't know what else I want to talk about. I talk about a lot of stuff, really. And um, my mom will be the first one to hear this, probably, because she's real concerned about me. She's real, real concerned about me, and I don't think it's good. Um, I don't think it's good that my mom to hear this. Because I apologize, Mama, if you hear me podcasting and, and cussing. Because I tell you, you have to talk a mile a minute to be on this podcast radio show thing. And it's going to be disturbing. It's going to be depressing even. And look at all these cars. Can't even probably hear me. So let me just... Uh, hold on, wait for this one to pass. Got another big rig. That's not too bad. Eight minutes until I get to the like, really front of the palms. That's not too bad. I thought it'd be about 30. Okay, so so maybe by the time I get to the theater, maybe it's eight minutes now into the podcast. Okay. So um. Anyway, yeah, I wanted to talk about a lot of things about love because I wrote a lot, a lot about it. But there are certain people I won't talk about. I won't talk about the time I met my first. Uh, what do you call? girl that I had sex with. I won't tell you about the, how I met the girl that I had her and fucking how we first made love. I won't tell you about the girl I lost my virginity to. I won't tell it. It's a story I don't want to get into. This girl keeps asking me, this other girl. Like, uh, anyway, I'm just not, I won't talk about certain people I won't talk about. And I won't talk about them. And it's just personal. You have to know me and I'll tell you about it. You know, I'll tell you about it in my own way. <laughs> There's certain things that I won't tell the internet. You know, although I could, I mean, it would make no difference. But I want people to know me. I want friends, you know. In order to in order to have friends, I want to have stories that are not already out there. So, be personal stories that we can get to know each other about. And Fanny, I wish I was making this video for her because I would tell her things. I won't tell you. And um, she knows everything about me. No, I'm going to make a video for her soon after this because I really miss her. I made two videos for her. We're gonna we're clipping, clipping. We don't have to merge it. We're just clipping, clipping, and uh, we're gonna put it in there. So I'm sorry about the quality of the podcast, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I thank you for joining me, and bearing with me, and 
announcing that we're going to Pearl Palms because I'm a big UFC fan and I used to have fights there. And they also have a theater there and I'm going to see what's playing there and I'm going to see if they accept my movie pass card because they might not. And anyway, you guys, so um, I'm here in Las Vegas. Um, I'm looking for things to do and um, I'm going to a church on Sunday and yeah, Marco Casas and goes to church too. Blessings and cursings, how can this be? James chapter 3. But you know what? I'm not cursing God, so that's the most important thing. I'm saying the F word, and that's not even really just anything more than adult language to me. And so, um, I'm sorry for you for you hearing that, Mom. And um, I just want to say that, that I'm really, really depressed today. It's been a gloomy day. Uh, what happened was... I don't want to say what happened. Well, it was something stupid that I took care of, okay? And I'm not worried about it anymore. So I'm just going to relax and um, try to enjoy the one more week. I have one more week in this new pad before I have to pay rent. And um, that's rent for the month of, uh, what is that? May? I can't believe I'm paying into May because I already paid for May in California. And he owes me $80. I paid $80 of May and then they paid a, a $400 thing for April and I mean I'm already paid up for this month for this half first half of the summer and my goodness I should be watching the Avengers I should not be worrying about anything except comic book movies and learning about Jesus in my sleep and meditating on God but I have all these things I'm worried about and um, I'm not worried about boys though okay mom I'm not worried about boys right now don't worry I don't have any boyfriends yet <laughs> Uh, she really wants me to be straight. And look at this, this is for my fanny girl. Anyway, I gotta I gotta make a video for her. And um, this is Marco trying to be straight for his mom, which he's not. <laughs> he super loves everyone and it's all about love because Jesus is love. And love, 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 love every day. Thank you guys. And um, this is a very, very personal person of the podcast to me and just the fact that I feel better and happy after just saying this person of the podcast is really happy to me. So thank you for watching this this 15 minute podcast or so and um, enjoy the rest of my channel and have a lovely day. Here's a flower.